Welcome to your June 21st update from the 2019 World Series of Poker. A whole new series of bracelets were awarded yesterday and the action just keeps coming. The Super Seniors event concluded yesterday with two-time bracelet winner Barry Shulman heads up for a potential third bracelet. But it was Michael Blake who captured his first bracelet and nearly $360,000. Lauren Klein has now joined the likes of two poker legends by adding bracelet number four to his resume in the $2,500 mixed big bet. Bill Boyd and Doyle Brunson had been the only players in the World Series of Poker history who had won bracelets in four consecutive years. Klein came back from the shortest stack at the final table to conquer the 218 entry contest for almost 130K. While Boyd and Brunson accomplished their streaks back in the 1970s, Klein is the first player to make it four in a row in the modern era with large attendances. The 218 entry field in the mixed big bet is in fact the smallest player field among his triumphant runs. A huge congratulations to him, not to mention that anyone who has the balls to wear a MAGA hat among harsh criticism from the poker playing crowd is a badass already to me. Day three of the $1,500 No Limit Bounty is starting off with 23 players from a starting field of 1,807. A bracelet will be won today and more than 250K. Play will be streamed once they are down to a final table or about seven players on CBS All Access around 7 p.m. tonight. But of course, in the meantime, Poker News will have all the coverage live for you. And you can find links to all the events in the description box below. Have a look at the leaderboard coming into the day today. The 25K Pot Limit Omaha is returning with 39 elite poker players battling it out for the prestigious bracelet and more than $1.6 million. At the top of the chip counts is Anton Sang, but he's going to have to work to maintain his lead. As we know, the great game of Pot Limit Omaha, fortunes can change swiftly and often do. Some of the other players with their eye on the prize are Esther Taylor, Robert Mizraki, and Eric Seidel. It should come as no surprise to loyal Poker News fans that the Ladies Championship is my favorite event of the summer. The ladies return today for day two with 279 ladies, including my girls, Katie Lindsay, Anna Marquez, Vanessa Cade, and Maria Lampropoulos. There are many more ladies to keep your eyes on as well. Another day two coming back today is the $2,500 no limit. I mean, they had to give the boys something to do, right? They started with 996 entries and are returning today with 200. Of those, only 150 will be getting paid any money, so some of the players unbagging today will unfortunately go home empty-handed. Near the top of the chip counts are Barney Boatman and Mark Radoja. They both have two bracelets each and are formidable opponents as well as wonderful guys. The Deuce to Seven Lowball Championship is coming back for its day two with 32 players, and a ratio of players with bracelets is out of control. There are far more players with bracelets than without. Running through the list of chip counts, I could barely decide who to mention, so just have a look yourselves. Event 51, the mixed event featuring Omaha 8 and Stud 8 is starting today. This event is a unique one as it is the only tournament that represents a mix of the two split pot games both found within the horse rotation. With one portion being a flop game and the other stud, all players are sure to be tested on their overall poker prowess throughout the tournament. Cards will be in the air at 3 p.m. local time this afternoon. If you're here with us or you plan on attending any Poker News event, be sure to download the MyStack app so that your family, friends, and backers can follow your chip counts up to the minute, up to date, updated by you from your very own iOS or Android device. Thank you so much for watching your number one source for Poker News, pokernews.com. I'm Sarah Herring.